Hello you guys, how are you? I hope you're staying well and keeping healthy out there. So today I'm excited as always because I'm going to chat you through what I thought of La Roche-Posay, their anti-blemish system which is dermatologist recommended routine. <laughs> Was it any good? Well, you need to listen up. I tried these three products on my own skin so I can tell you firsthand what I think about them and hopefully it will help you to get a judgment yourself. But before I go on, my name is Joni. Welcome to my channel, Joni Loves. Please, please, before we go on, can you hit that subscribe button? A lot of people, a lot of you are watching my videos, but some of you aren't subscribing. And I really need you to do that because it helps me to grow my channel. So please also hit that bell and that notification bell will let you know every time I have a bright idea that might be of a subject regarding skincare and health that you might find of interest. So thank you for that. So here we go, La Roche Posay. I've got to say up front, it's not a cruelty free brand. And you know how I feel, everything should be cruelty free now. There is no need not to be cruelty free. So tell those countries to get their act together that are still having to have that as a forefront. You know, you've got to not test on animals. I am an absolute avid animal, as I hope you all are out there, my lovelies. So here we go, it's not cruelty free. L'Oreal own La Roche-Posay and it's based in France and the company speaks of their thermal spring water which La Roche-Posay, that was the name of the little town that this mineral spring water that's infused into these products. <laughs> yes it is, yes it is. And um, this is meant to give the skin the antiox antioxidant benefits of selenium which is in this thermal spring water. <laughs> Don't you just love these stories that these brands come up with? I just wonder how much of the thermal spring water is in each of the products to have this antioxidant effect on you. You know what I'm saying? So the box itself, okay, it comes in at 35 quid. I think that's an okay price, right? And the packaging, you know, that's pretty good explanatory on it. It's a one, two, three system if you've got acne, oily skin. So let's have a look at it and see what I thought. So the first thing is the cleanser and um, the purifying foaming cleanser. I'm just going to show you what this looks like on, first of all, okay, if you can see that. Now the cleanser, um, it's for oily, sensitive skin. I love how they put that oily, sensitive. They put that little word sensitive in there to make you think, oh, this must be okay. This sounds good, this sounds good. Now I'm looking at the ingredient list here and the first ingredient is always the water and then the second, which is sodium lauryl sulfate, which is soap. And then it's got a, cl a cleansing agent derived from coconut and that's fine, foamers in it. And at the end of it has got perfume but it's at the very bottom of this list. So, you know, I don't think it's really going to do much harm to skin. It has got zinc PCA, which is quite good. Zinc PCA is like anti-aging and repairing to skin. It's fine, okay? And it's got um, anything else great in it? Not really, but I'm going to tell you that I like this cleanser. I did. I did like it, I used it and I felt it quite gentle. To me, this is worth a shot. I did like it, it foams up quite nicely. It's got a couple of foamers in it, why wouldn't it? But it foams up quite gently, nicely. Came off the skin quite well, I thought. I really like this, so this has got I think I'm going to give it a thumbs up here for oily skin. I didn't feel my skin really tight after it at all, which is what you've got to be careful if you've got even an oily skin. You don't want to feel you know, really, really tight after. Yes, give this a bash. Um, I would definitely give it a try if you've got oily acne skin. Next up, we've got an astringent lotion for, it's a microfolium that gets rid of your blackheads as well. Okay, so this is the, the lotion. I, I can't really show you that out, but it's clear, but I'm just going to open it up to give you a wee hint of what I thought of it, right? <laughs> I hope you got that idea. <laughs> so this is an astringent lotion. Now I put this on after cleansing my skin, okay, with the cleanser, the nice gentle cleanser. I then put this this guy on. Now I'm going to tell you what's I get in it. The second ingredient, alcohol denatured. 
and you know that is drying to the skin. Alcohol denatured is the second ingredient. It has got glycerin in it as a third ingredient. You just don't really know how much of the percentage of this is alcohol denatured. So not good. And it has got a derivative of salicylic in it down at the number seven ingredient and it's got perfume in it. But I'm going to tell you because of the alcohol in this, the second ingredient, I found this quite nippy on my skin. I actually just put it onto my nose to see because it's you know it's got salicylic acid in it and I thought well, it'll be good for enlarged pores and um, clear the blackheads bit but I felt this quite nippy on so I'm not keen on this at all I felt it nippy I thought it was very very drying 100% drying now where the salicylic is it's number I'm um, just having a look at this number seven on the ingredient list a derivative salicylic acid but it still is a form of it um, it's at the bottom of the list on this so I don't even think there's enough salicylic acid in this it's going to really have a great effect on your pores I think this product okay will dry your skin out eventually because that's the thing we have to be careful of if you've got an acne oily skin when you keep stripping the oil off it okay and drying up to get that squeaky feel uh, astringent feel when you do that I'm not joking but eventually the skin will fight back and it will chuck out more oil because the skin is the largest organ of the body it's trying to normalize itself no matter what you throw at it oh we should really really understand that about skin so if you keep drying skin out it will fight back so I am not for this I do not like this product it's an old-fashioned formula and I'm going to give it a big thumbs down. The only, I put here right on my notes, the only person that should buy this product or use it, paint stripping, you know, to strip the paint off of wood. <laughs> oh, that's a funny one, isn't it? Has anyone tried that yet <laughs> with that product? Try it, I bet you it strips paint. I bet you it does. So the last one in this box, okay, is the F. Epiclar Duo, which is a moisturizer. Okay, it's for uh, corrective, unclogging, anti-imperfections, anti-marks. That's quite a lot, doesn't it? It says on, on the box and all the information about it. Epiclar Duo Plus, okay? It says it's a dual action um, gel moisturizer to hydrate whilst reducing the appearance of blemishes, control shine and protect skin from the causes of discoloration left from blemishes. It's as if it's, a, it's going to fade it. So I'm going to show you what this looks like on, okay? Um, just a nice white cream. When you use this, I'm going to show you, it goes into skin quite quickly, quite easily, right? It absorbs quite well into skin i do think that now i'm going to tell you that when it dries in it does leave the skin with a matte appearance which is really what you want if you've got that oily skin going on and i used to have that oily acne skin in my younger days um oh it was the bane of my life it really was but it does actually dry in and eventually to a matte you know a matte finish i think that's quite good i would have really liked that on my skin now, I did feel, and if you've got a combination skin like me, it feels a little bit dragging on the skin. You know, it just doesn't feel moisturizing, but I think oily skin people will like this product. It's got glycerin second ingredient, which is the humectant, ding, ding, dimethicone, which is moisturizing a third ingredient. Then it's got an emollient and four and then it's got star ingredient niacinamide number five now niacinamide is really known to reduce pores and to repair skin you know it's a star star ingredient niacinamide it's extremely good and it, it does reduce the pore size so this is in this is number fifth ingredient we've got zinc pca which controls sebum to mattify skin and control shine that's number 12 and then away down the list, it's got a probiotic, um, which is great, which keeps the skin's microbiome healthy. But it's number 25 on the ingredient list. It's also got salicylic acid at number 23 and number 29. And it's got perfume in it too at the bottom of the list. But where these come in at, where, you know, 25, 23, 24, right down at the bottom, 
there's not a lot of that ingredient in here but what there is the first few ingredients especially with niacinamide in it and i'm always saying look at the top 10 ingredients and that'll give you an idea what it's going to do i do think this is a good product for you to try i think it's worth a try mm -hmm. i think it will control the shine i'm going to put give it a thumbs up <laughs> The only thing I felt I told you that it was dragging on my skin, but I'm going to give this a thumbs up, this product. So there you go. There you go. Now, before I go on, I have to say, if I haven't smiled enough, I'm going to tell you, I had a dental procedure done on my gums. Oh, that was a quick glance. <laughs> and I had stitches, six stitches, because my, my gum, um, I had an infection and they had to open my gum up last Friday and oh my goodness I had three injections into my mouth I know you're all going oh no oh no well I was honestly a bit of a shock after it but it had to be done the infection cleared out all of that and then my face for the weekend last weekend now it is still a little bit swollen but I've got these black stitches and I'm thinking to my, my dentist, I don't see him to Monday, right? And I'm thinking, why did he use black stitching for the stitches? Could he not have used nude colored thread? I'm going to pull him up for that when I see him on Monday and say, look you, I couldn't smile, big smiles because of these blinking black stitches. Well, that's just giving you a wee idea of what, what's going on in my life. But anyway, I have been very conscious of it. I have, I have. I can't give any big, big toothy gum smiles just now because of, because of it. So if you've seen a little bit of black stitch, please forgive me. Please forgive me. And it does, it is healing nicely, thankfully. So the summary of La Roche Posey, come on, Joni, chat about it. I wouldn't buy the box as a astringent is going to cause more problems, right? I think it is worth a try. But I do think that you'd be able to find better products for acne oily skin that are cruelty free. <laughs> I bet you knew I was going to say that. So that's my summary. Who out there has tried any of these products? Have any of you got any other ideas about acne oily products that were good for your skin, have worked and they're cruelty free? Please tell me in the comments below. And as always, make a comment. It's always great to have a chat. I love it. I love it. I love replying to you. I'm sure you've seen that when you look down, but I do quickly reply to all my comments. I do. And remember, if you've got any questions about skin or if you've got any other brands you want me to have a look at, I will put them on the list. I'm going to get through. I'm on that journey now. I'm on that journey to tell you all about all of the ingredients out there, all the brands out there that I think are okay, and all the brands out there that I think give it a body swerve. <laughs> so take care of yourselves. I hope you have a great week, and hopefully next time I'll be able to have the big toothy grins again because I'll have these stitches out of my gums. <laughs> okay, take care of yourselves. Bye for now.